Christmas season in full swing, a green country family has opened a unique free attraction this year. In tonight's Positively Oklahoma, 2 News Oklahoma anchor Julie Chin takes us to the Nativity Museum, where one family's massive private collection is on display for all to enjoy. In a small museum in Pryor, a grand gathering of shepherds, angels, and wise men have quite the story to share. That it is about the birth of our Savior and not just Santa and presents. That's why this Christmas, Missy Hibbard opened the Nativity Museum. Everybody has kind of a passion for different things. And for my husband and I, we absolutely, our faith is very important to us. The Hibbards are no strangers to professing their faith in a big way. In 2016, they built the 110 foot cross on the prairie, believed to be one of the tallest freestanding statues in the U.S. Now, in a new leap of faith, they opened this free museum where you'll find more than 200 nativity sets on display. Nativities from around the world, there's about 40 countries that are represented, but we also have mass produced nativities that we've also collected throughout the years. There's everything from Lego to this wooden set from Sierra Leone. With four rooms to explore, you're invited to take a self-guided tour. This is a really unique one that we found at a antique store that actually came from a speakeasy in Tulsa. Many of these pieces are handcrafted, and you'll find placards with fun facts. For example, El Salvador, they have used animals that's unique to their area. So instead of having the lamb and the donkey, they're going to have armadillos. And so that's kind of a unique, cool thing. Missy started collecting in 1985. All of this traces back to this precious moment set. My husband and I married around Christmas time. And he started me with a collection at our anniversary. He would get me a little nativity set or a piece to a nativity set. And it just kind of became something that grew over the years. And we have now collected close to probably 500. Less than half of Missy's collection fits in this space. If there's enough interest this year, she plans to have more in a larger space next year. We have definitely had really good response from people that come through. Missy dreams of adding a kid's play area and more education in the future. Why do we have a Christmas tree? Why do we do Christmas lights? Um, the story of the candy cane. And so there's a lot of things that we would like to eventually add to our museum. For now, she hopes this space packed with tiny treasures does what it's designed to do. Serve as a reminder of the reason for the season. Julie Chin, 2 News, Oklahoma. The museum will be open through December on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Missy will also be open to private groups by appointment. We've added everything you need to know on our website at kjrh.com. Just click Positively Oklahoma.